were declared. Simon Ekbar sent a powerful message to Chief of Army Staff. Nigerians, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Simon Ekbar, the Prime Minister of Biafra government, has once again challenged the Chief of Army Staff using his official social media account following the needless death of five soldiers. Ekbar made it known that he was ready to fight and openly dared the Chief of Army Staff to enter the Southeast. Ekbar was bold and said he was ready to face the army with his uh, companions despite living in uh, Finland. In a statement, Ekbar took aim at the chief of army staff and urged the Nigerian army's leadership to begin operations in Abia State to bravery and power of the Nigerian military are seriously threatened by the deed committed by a citizen living abroad. The federal government and the military vowed to find the alleged IPOV members in order to avenge the five soldiers' horrific death. Reports state that the slain soldiers were vigorously attacked and ambushed while carrying out their duties, highlighting the dangerous and unsustainable conditions in the area. The famous people, including Tinubu, have expressed their outrage over the incident, pledged to apprehend those responsible, and warned that their actions will have grave repercussions. In the meantime, Simon Ekba showed images and videos of his army supporters in addition to repeating his warning against the military in an attempt to escalate tensions and they highlight how dire the situation was, the government and security agencies have been urged to act decisively in response to the ongoing violence carried out by armed groups like IPOP. All across Nigeria, Nigerians are calling for swift and decisive action to put an end to these ruthless thieves who continue to terrorize innocent communities and destabilize the nation. It is imperative that in the face of increasing carnage and violence, the government prioritize everyone's protection and security to stop the violence and restore peace and stability to the affected areas. Swift and decisive action is required. The country's security and stability could be severely impacted if these problems are not adequately resolved. Meanwhile, Mike Ujofo, a former director of the Department of State Service DSS, has called for the extradition of Simon Ekba, a Finland-based functional leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Ujofo, in a statement on Tuesday, June 4th, criticized Ekba's activities, describing them as worse than those of Nandi Kano, and demanded that he be returned to Nigeria to face trial. Ekba, a self uh, declared Prime Minister of the Biafra in Ezai, is also the mastermind behind attacks on security checkpoints and formations in the Southeast by unknown gunmen. He is also the overhead behind the seat at home exercise carried out in eastern states on Mondays, which, did le which has led to brutal killings of civilians and security agents. Speaking on the matter, Age of Four said, Simon Ekba is not a genuine representative of reasonable people, but a rather an influencer of misguided elements. If he's serious, he should come back to Nigeria and direct people to come commit crimes. His voice for misguided element, he is not a voice for reasonable people. I can't be listening to him. Most people cannot be listening to him. 
he urged the Nigerian government to begin negotiations with Finland authorities to facilitate a pass repatriation. What he is doing in Finland is worse than what Namdi Kanu was doing. He should be repatriated for trial, he stressed. The security expert comments are coming days after unknown gunmen attacked a military checkpoint in Aba, Abia State, killing several soldiers. Meanwhile, Nigerian government have vowed to repatriate Simon Ekba back to Nigeria to face trial. So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I bet share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you for always stopping by. Bye for now.